Rugby league's earned a reputation as a hard sport, players seen as some of the toughest athletes around. That theory was put to the test as the Huddersfield Giants were put through their paces by 5th Regiment Royal Artillery, the Yorkshire Gunners. Head coach and one of the game's hard men, Paul Anderson, embarking on his first full season in charge, explains why. Professional sportsman, you get comfortable in a hell of a lot of things what you do and uh, one of the things that uh, when I first came up here and spoke to the people here that we want simply, purely and simply to keep, take them out of their comfort zones and you look at the ice and look at the temperatures and, and you, when you see the, uh, the environment they're staying in, it's, it's certainly out of there. And a lot of players just come back off the kind of end of season, uh, back end of the season holidays and you know where they've been in 30 degree plus heat and now they're, now they're out in the freezing cold, it's certainly a reality check and you know, they're back into it, aren't they? Yeah, it certainly is and uh, Leroy, this is Leroy's first week and what an introduction and he's come back from England and and rightly so the plaudits he got on that camp and uh, he's come back into our camp now and uh, it's back to basics, so, so to say. So, it's, But what it is, is, like I said, is we want to take people out of comfort zones and, uh, and it's something that's memorable as well. It, some of the things that the players go through here and some of the things they've heard of, of what the soldiers go through and whatever, it, it can't even compare to what happens on the rugby league field. So they, they have something now and if somebody turns around to me and says, well, this is that and that's that, I say, well, just think of the blocks of what you put through in, uh, on that camp and the things you heard there. Nothing could ever uh, replicate what they've heard and things they've seen here. The Giants have spent three days at Catrick Garrison living a no-frills army lifestyle under the watchful eye of Sergeant Major Mark Edwards. It's all mind games. As I explained to the players yesterday, it's all mind games. If we don't tell them what to expect, then their mind starts wandering and then they expect the worst. Um, once you go over an obstacle, it's hard, yeah, brilliant. And then you get back, go again. But you just keep motivating yourself, you just keep going. Because it's not only you, you're then working for the team. Um, if you're going over in a small group of four, say, um, you then work hard for each other. It's not all about your individual play, it's about the team and getting the team over and the best time you can. Um, the whole idea of working from one obstacle coming back is just to degrade you. It's um, physically demanding. The cold hasn't helped, the water hasn't helped them, um, but that's all again a mindset. It's all about getting over that factor and then progressing to the next stage. Yeah, we're ridiculous. We went out for 12 hours, so we're feeling it now, but yeah, lads got through it. And we knew we were trying to take us out of his comfort zone and you know, they've done that with ease, so yeah, it's enjoyable and all lads dug in. We're just glad to get through it now. Yeah, it's been tough. Obviously, you can tell by my voice as well. He's, um, he's been uh, very physical, yeah, it's been draining and Obviously a lot of shouting's been done, so I've lost my voice. But yeah, it's been it's been good fun. It's been it has been tough, you know, going in puddles and rolling yourself around on deck. There's a lot of obstacle courses which a few of the lads are a little bit um, scared of heights, so that's been good fun watching them. But it's yeah, it's been a great experience. It's yeah, it's been worth our trip, obviously, but definitely been tough. The players haven't just had their physical abilities tested in the camp, but also their mental toughness. The Giants players and staff alike spent two nights under canvas in sub-zero temperatures and they've had to put up with more than just the weather. I think the most draining things really has been we get, as food we've been getting ration packs which feel the, the bigger lads are swapping, I think they were swapping the socks for food at one point. <laughs> but um, the most difficult thing has probably been the sleep deprivation which we're not really used to as we're not only 10 hours sleep so yeah they were getting us up throwing smoke bombs in at 10 and, setting mortars off and making us run round. I mean, like I say, it's been, been very challenging, but it's been good fun. And then we, we had a crack on machine guns, they were like, you know, they took us out at five o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, it's been draining, but it's been fun as well. Two pairs of trainers, no boots. It's just, you know, cold feet, cold feet. And as much as it hurts, <laughs> you can't be one that says, oh, I can't do it. So, yeah, there's, there's been me, there's been a couple of lads, but everybody's just pulled together and got us through it. Hopefully this is one thing that's you know gonna have a beneficial impact on us, you know, it's when you go through that times like it generally brings you closer when you're all cuddling up, freezing in your sleeping bags. <laughs> Can't get any closer really, so yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Yeah, definitely, not just through players, the staff have been getting up in the middle of the night as well, where bombs have been going off, so it's been it's been, it's been a really good experience and everybody's just gelling. <laughs>